welcome back to my channel it is me Christina if you're new here welcome 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 on my channel I talk about plants lifestyle beauty and modeling so if you're interested in any of those make sure you subscribe also if you're already subscribed be sure to share this video with a plant friend someone who may be interested in getting into plants or just want to know more about plants but don't know where to start so today I'll be showing you my top favorite easiest house plants to care for and I'll show you I'll tell you about you know how to care for them what type of lights they might need and things like that so to start this video off I'm going to start off with my cactus and I got this cactus from Lowe's I got it because it looked a little different like I've never seen a cactus like this and I don't know the name of it but um if I find it, I just put the name, you know, on the screen. So I do that with all the plants. I put all the names of the plants on the screen. So this is a cactus that I like and I got it from Lowe's. And one thing about Lowe's is some plants, they glue their rocks in the soil. So when you get those plants, just get like a um, screwdriver and try to chop in there and break it on down and it'll be fine. So I definitely recommend cactus to people that are busy and want to get into plants but they like oh I'll forget to water it and stuff like that the cactus is for you so definitely get that if you're wanting to get into plants but you're worried about you know not being able to water them my next plant on the list is my Pilea and when I got this plant it was so small and I'm so happy that I did get it I'll insert a picture of what it looks like when it gets bigger because that's what I'm waiting on and that's kind of why it's my favorite plant. I like what it looks like when it gets bigger. But I'm loving what it looks like now. I like these little round leaves and stuff like that. So, yeah. I have it in the like close to the window in bright light. So it grows well in bright light. I only water it about once a week. Uh, and I check on it. I have a moisture meter to tell me if my plants need water or anything like that. So, yeah. So I won't over water it. And I really like this plant. It's very different. And you'll notice that a lot of my plants don't have color. They are green. So I'm just like... I like the foliage of foliage of plants, so that's like the main thing that I'm interested in. So I would recommend this plant to anyone who is, you know, they're not too busy and they know they'll be able to water their plants. And honestly, it, I usually water my plants on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, and it's Wednesday, and I still haven't watered my plants, so that's okay. Plants can thrive on neglect sometimes. And so some plants will tell you when they need water. Like this one, I think it's leaning over because it needs water. See how it's leaning? Some of them are sitting straight up, but a lot of them are leaning to the side. So it's like, yeah, it's time for me to be watered. So I like that for plants. I like plants that show me that they need water. My next plant on the list is my bonsai plant. And a lot of people may notice this plant because it's a picture going around of the plant and these are known for their trunks because they look like female bodies. Honestly, they do. Like, my plant is thick AF, so I love that about it. Um, at first, I didn't have it close to the window, but when I moved it closer to the window, it definitely began to thrive more. So, this is definitely one of my favorite plants. It's probably one of my favorite plants mostly because of the shape of the trunk. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll try to find that picture that's going around on social media um, of this plant. But this is definitely one of my favorite plants. It puts out new growth all the time. It has new growth at the top. And I just love it. I love the leaves and... It's just the simple things about plants sometimes. Like I said, this trunk is the trunk for me. I love that plant. So, um, so the next plant. Oh, as far as watering, um, I honestly don't water it that often. Like every time I water my other plants, I might skip this one and go maybe like two weeks without watering or something like that. I'm not sure. But the pot that it's in is really, like it's deep. So, you know, I don't have to water it as often, I feel. Um, the next time I water my plants, though, I'll probably definitely be watering it. The next plant on my list are my pothos. And I have about five different pothos, but today I'm just showing you my two favorites. This is the lime green pothos, I think. Let me see. I, I keep my name tags in some of them, but, um, I was just trying to figure out the exact name, but... It's my lime green pothos. That's what I call it. And pothos can trail up. They can trail down. Whichever one you really want them to do. And this is my 
Silver Splash Pothos. Don't quote me on the name. I'll find the correct name and like I said, put it up there. But I like this plant because for one, I saved it from Walmart. Walmart will overwater their plants like crazy. And so I got it from Walmart for like $3 and I was like, I'm going to save you. And I saved this plant and it's been doing so good. It's starting to trail. And so I'm excited about that. And you can see the leaves. Um, the, and the name is silver something. And that's because if you look at the leaves, they have like, it looks like glitter or silver, like literally silver. And I can't show you because of the light probably, but, um, yeah, I love that plant. And these are my two pothos and I just love this lime green one. And my next plants are my snake plants. And I have several different types of snake plants. These were my first plants that I really, really wanted. So here's one of them. I recently got this from Home Depot. I'm done buying snake plants because this is the snake plant that I really, really, really wanted. I like the pattern and so I went ahead and got it from Home Depot and I'm done with my snake plants. Here's another snake plant that I have. Um, I leave the link below where I got this from but a model friend of mine also creates different things for the house like different house decorations and you can follow them him on Instagram I'll leave the link you know I'll leave his Instagram name up there but yeah he created this hanging planter and he also painted this and y'all, I wasn't expecting to get a plant that day. I was just going in there to get the basket. And my cousin was like, yeah, it comes with the plant too. And I was like, what? And so I got the plant and the um, the hanger. So I really enjoyed this plant. It was a win-win situation. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box. And I'll also leave his Instagram right there. But yeah. My snake plants are definitely um, some of my favorite plants. Those, you do not have to water them as often. Um, they thrive on neglects. I only water my snake plants every, every now and then, probably every two to three weeks. And honestly, I haven't watered this plant, I don't think, since I got it. And it's been a while since I got that plant, so it might need some water now. I don't know if I went over the watering for my pothos, but they like... They can thrive in bright indirect they can thrive in bright and direct light, they can thrive in bright light, they can thrive in low light. It's whatever, just no dark rooms or anything like that. As far as watering, you can neglect them. You know what I'm saying? All like I said, all these plants that I'm showing y'all are easy. You don't have to water them once a week or you know what I'm saying? These plants are they'll go okay, they'll be okay without, you know, having water every week. So yeah, definitely recommending these to, um, you know, people that may be too busy. I had to sit up to show y'all this next plant, but this next plant is my dumb cane. Um, the real name is Defenbachia, I believe, but they come in different, um, you know, a lot of plants come in different, you know, varieties. So this is one of my favorite house plants that I have because as you can see, it grows like crazy. It has all these different new leaves coming out and I like to watch the leaves unravel and stuff like that. So this is definitely one of my favorites. It is my first house plant. Um, I got it from my granddad's funeral, so it means a lot to me. I actually named this plant after my professor, I mean, after my granddad. So this plant name is The Professor, and it's definitely, like I said, one of my favorites. They really, they can get really, really tall, and I did not know that, so I'm super excited to see how tall this plant gets. I wish I knew how tall it was when I first got it, but it's definitely grown tremendously. Um... It has, like, this leaf needs to be cut out, uh, cut probably, but usually if I have little brown edges or something like that, I just let it, the leaf completely die out until I'm ready to take it off. But yeah, this plant is in front of a window in my living room, so that's probably why it's growing so well. So it probably does well in bright light, bright indirect light. So the brighter the light for some plants, the more they'll grow, but you, sh you can't have them, some plants you can't have too close to the window because it'll burn their leaves, so watch out for that. But yeah, this plant doesn't require much water, um, well I ain't gonna say it doesn't require much water, but I water it once a week, um, every time I'm watering all my other plants, and what I do is, 
I'll stick my finger in there or my moisture meter and if the top two inches are dry, I go ahead and water it. But most of the time, within a week, it's ready to get some more water. So I would definitely recommend this plan to anyone that knows that they're going to be able to water once a week. It's easy. It's beautiful. Like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites. I wish I could just hug it, y'all. But um, yeah, I'm so proud of myself because, like I said, this was my first plan and yeah. Now, my next plan, I'm just going to go like this. And I hope y'all can see me. So, this plant right here is my Monstera Deliciosa. And I have to make sure I say that slow because I will say Monstera Delicioso. So, I have to make sure I watch out for what I say. But this is my top favorite houseplant because it is easy to grow. Uh, I have it in a bright light room. So it's not close to the window, it's across from the window and it gets perfect sunlight. It has a bunch of new growth coming in. One of my biggest leaves is putting out another leaf. So I have, you know, more new growth coming in. It's steadily growing. Um, and I have this moss pole in here so it could climb the aerial roots can crawl up the pole. And just because if it doesn't have anything to secure, your plant will just be flopped over. And I can't have that because I have a cat and he already has attacked this plant once. So that's what made me get the moss pole. So this plant, like I said, it can do well in bright light, bright indirect light. And um, it's very easy to take care of. I water this plant once a week, just like my other plants. I try to mist it in the morning sometimes. Uh, I have a little squirt bottle that I mix my plants with. And um, other than that, that's about it. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Um, I hope y'all can see all me and my, all my plant babies. Oh, I forgot about this plant. So this is a Brazilian philodendron. And it is my wish list plant that I had. And I recently purchased it. And so it doesn't have too much new growth, but um, it is growing. I can see some new growth coming in. And I just like the leaves. You see how it's like dark around the edges and then like that split in the middle. I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I showed y'all a bunch of my favorite house plants and how to care for them. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below. And also make sure you share with a friend and stay tuned for my next videos. And follow me on Instagram.